What's up, YouTubers? It's your boy Gabriel. Wow, it's been a while since I last uploaded on YouTube, but I'm here to say that I'm gonna try and do one video per week now. Uh, it's been highly requested on my Instagram to do YouTube, so here I am, and let's jump into the first video. Today's video is one that I get requested a lot on YouTube, or how to play and that kind of stuff, is the help on the way into Slipknot diminished arpeggios. So today we're gonna look at them. I'm playing my Gibson Les Paul 59 reissue into a vintage 50s Fender Tweed Deluxe, just like Larry Carlton used on the Kid Charlemagne sessions and on Asia and Steely Dan. Um, into my usual setup, my Apollo, into my Mac. So let's go. So here we're zoomed into the fretboard so we can see closer. The arpeggios, how I think of them, it starts off from this F minor lick, or run. Again, slower. It's almost F minor and C minor, because here's the F minor part. Now C minor. Again, together. And then we go into the first diminished arpeggio, which is F sharp diminished. Again, slower. Together with the F minor and C minor pattern. Hope that made sense. One more time. So now for the second arpeggio, or the second pattern, we're gonna move up from F to G. The exact same pattern as well. So here we have the F to G minor into D minor. Slowly. And that was the G sharp diminished. So together all again slowly. Let's do both patterns together now. So there we have the first two patterns and the diminished arpeggios. And let's jump into the final part of the arpeggios, which is the chords. So now we're in the final part of this incredible run by Jerry Garcia, and we're doing the chord section. So here it is slowly. I'll do it one more time, very slowly. they go into Slipknot. So the chords are, I have them written down here to tell you guys, E minor, B minor, F sharp minor, A minor, E minor, D, C, G, A minor. So I'll show you them with the chords. So here's E minor, B minor, F sharp minor, A minor, E minor, D So let's do that one more time all together. Now I'm at 
adding an extra note, which could be like the seventh, for instance, or in this case, um, the sixth. Um, but you don't have to, you can just do it three notes.